Yo, what is up YouTube man? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the best shooting guard floor spacing slasher on NBA 2K22 current gen. Real quick, if you guys are new, if you want to drop me a like and subscribe, of course, I would appreciate it a ton. Let's get right into this video. So with the position, like I said, we're making it at shooting guard. You can make it at small forward or point guard. I think this build definitely works best as a shooting guard or small forward though. It's not really meant to be a main ball handler. It's meant to be an off ball build that's great at finishing, great at slashing. It's got defense and playmaking, but you could really run it however you would like with the pie chart we're going with. You don't get contact dunks with this build unless you have slashing takeover on, but it's still going to be solid at finishing. You're going to be able to do floaters, layups, teardroppers, great dunk animations, all of that good stuff with the rules on making this build so you can do your three-pointer as high as you want with the mid-range shot though the highest you can go with making the build the way we are is a 77 if you go any higher it's gonna change the name to a balanced score instead of a floor spacing slasher so if you don't mind that name you can go as high as you would like but if you want the name to be floor spacing slasher you definitely got to keep it at a 77 or below with the finishing we're gonna max driving driving layup and close shot it's gonna give us 11 finishing badges like i said this build's gonna be super solid at finishing not contact dunking like crazy but you can still guess those posterizer animations where it's almost a contact dunk with the playmaking ball handle post control both max the pass accuracy is another thing you don't want to go too high where it's going to change the name to a playmaker name a 61 pass accuracy is perfect 10 playmaking badges is a decent amount like i said if you wanted more you'd be making something like a play shot or a playmaker this build is meant to be an all-around build that can do everything on the court speaking of that the defense we're maxing pretty much everything we're not going to put up offensive rebound because there's only so many defensive stats we can upgrade if you want to take off something like steel and put it on offensive rebound if you care about that you definitely can but having defensive rebound on as long as you throw on rebound chaser you're going to be fine to get those offensive boards with the height we're going to go six six weight go all the way down so we can get the max 85 speed so it's going to be in the 90s by the time you get gym rat and you get to 99 overall that is very good for a six foot six build and now the wingspan so this is up to you so if you go down one on the wingspan you can get that 76 ball handle which will be 80 at 99 overall now you don't need that you can dribble just fine with a 75 ball control so if you would rather you could actually increase the wingspan you could get the driving dunk to say a 76 at 99 that'll give you the 80 driving dunk animations it is completely up to you me personally i would go down one on the wingspan just to have the 80 ball handle at 99 if you want it if you prefer to have the other dribble moves anyway by the time you get there a it still increases your shooting a little bit you see the takeover choices slashing shot creating sharp and lock i would say sharp is the best one to go but like i said if you want to get contact dunks in slashing takeover this build can do that it is completely up to you and you see man we got the floor spacing slasher name taking a look at all the stats like i said this build is going to be surprisingly fast for a six foot six build acceleration is going to be almost a 90 at 99 overall with gym rep the driving dunk 74 you get really good animations at 75 so at 96 overall you get those with the finishing badges posterizer slithery and limitless takeoff are the core three that you want to have on you got two left you do have a really great close shot and driving layup so if you want to throw on fearless finisher teardropper unstrippable maybe if you drive to the basket a lot and don't want people plucking you it is all completely up to you on how you want to do it fast twitch even i mean you got crazy close shot if you get a rebound and want to go back up immediately that could definitely help with the shooting badges hot zone hunter sniper stop and pop i would say are must maybe not stop and pop if you're playing with another ball handler maybe you play threes a lot and you're doing more of the spot up shooting you can put on things like catch and shoot corner specialist dead eye blinders all great badges even green machine having it on some is great clutch shooter if you want to make absolutely sure you hit the shot to win the game throwing that on definitely gives you a big boost and you can fade with this build you know difficult shots circus threes it's completely up to you especially if you go with shot creating takeover those can be very nice with the playmaking badges, now you're going to want to have quick first step gold at least. Unpluckable, bailout, bullet passer, they all help. But you only got 10, so I know you're going to want things like quick chain, hyperdrive. If you want to take off passing badges and put more of the dribbling badges on, you can do that. If you're somebody that thinks you're not going to be dribbling too much, then you could take handles for days off. And you could put up things like bullet passer, bailout, unpluckable all higher if you're playing the 1v1 court which this build would be very great at i would say put on quick first step handles for days and quick chain on and you're going to be solid for dribbling against the big centers you're going to go against and now the defensive badges rim protector and chase down artists are going to help you a ton with blocks if they beat you to the hoop you're going to feel a lot better defensively than you would think on a build pie chart like this clamp silver is going to give you those nice cutoff animations and then you got two left it's really up to you you got steel rating so you can put on pickpocket interceptor hustle 
does help you get like when you get a poke so you get it over the other defender things like box warm wouldn't really be worth it you can just throw it back on rim protector and chase down artist silver let me know what you guys think of the build man this is tonic i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace